The same pipe. This sludge is supposed to go to a treatment plant, but the St. Louis system frequently maxes out when it rains. The overflow of human waste mixed with rainwater pours into local waterways, like Maylene Creek, and then into the Mississippi River 1,000 feet away. There are hundreds of different bacteria that could be in the water. Parasites, tapeworms, ringworms, uh, hookworms. When you see a lot of foam in the water, that's usually a pretty good indication that you might have a highly polluted environment for the fish and the uh, macroinvertebrates. Every year, St. Louis dumps 13 billion gallons of combined sewage and stormwater into the Mississippi and other local waterways, enough to put all of St. Louis a foot deep in waste. Rivers like the Mississippi are actually nature's way of dealing with human and animal waste. Microbes in the water digest it in a natural composting process that puts the sewage back into the ecosystem. But the Mississippi and other rivers can't handle the vast quantities of waste that modern cities discharge. Nationwide, America's sewers pour over 900 billion gallons of sewage stormwater into U.S. waterways every year. That's the amount of water that spills over Niagara Falls in 21 days. More than 700 cities have adequated combined sewer stormwater systems that overflow when it rains, sometimes in as little as a tenth of an inch. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has sued the Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District, along with a host of other cities, because of the problem. St. Louis has spent $1.8 billion eliminating 300 overflows mostly by separating sewage and wastewater pipes in key areas. But 440 remain. So, uh, how quickly do we do this work? And our bills have already doubled in a period of about five to six years. Cities like St. Louis are in a squeeze. The EPA demands billion-dollar action to fix and replace leaky pipes and put an end to overflows. But the federal government stopped helping foot the bill decades ago. The burden now falls almost entirely on local communities. That is a dollar that is going to be a scarce dollar because we're not the only game in town. There's roads that need to be rebuilt. There's bridges that need to be re rehabilitated. Fortunately, new methods have emerged for fixing sewers that will make repairs less expensive and disruptive. For example, instead of digging trenches and tearing up miles of street, this crew in St. Louis uses a single access point to unfurl a super tough polyester liner. It will quickly harden into a pipe within a pipe, sealing up cracks from the inside. But a full makeover of America's wastewater infrastructure will still be massively expensive and take years, if not decades, to complete. Until then, millions of gallons of sewage teeming with bacteria will continue to flow into our rivers and streams. And more Americans than ever can expect to have sewage backups like Melody Bordeaux. Trying to put into words the actual foul stench, the actual things that I live with in the house on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just hard to believe that I did, but I did. Americans may have to get used to all sorts of shocking infrastructure breakdowns, including some cracks in the system that could kill. The water comes at folks like a steaming locomotive. Hundreds of thousands of people could be at risk. 